Hi guys! Here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi everybody. I'm gonna give you all a second to log on. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Hi guys. Hello, 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 hello. So many people logging on. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome everybody. Happy Friday. I am Megan O'Connor, celebrity fashion stylist and longtime friend of Lane Bryant's. And I am back again with another episode of, drum roll please, at Home Create Your Lane Fashion Happy Hour. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back. If you were here last week, thanks for tuning in. If you're new, welcome. I am joining here on Lane Bryant's Instagram, partnering up with them to give you a little break from the news, a little break from the crazy, if you will, and to provide you with a little bit of fashion relief and fashion fun. So every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to log on here live. I am coming straight to you into your homes from the comfort of my home. And here we are. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with one item, three ways. Last week, we ran through a couple of comfort looks, a couple of items that you can wear at home while we're all kind of navigating this new space, this work from home environment. There were a lot of pieces that dealt with comfort, that dealt with reworking things in your current wardrobe. And I wanna make sure that we continue that theme of kind of making sure that you are comfortable at home, doing your best to kind of bring fashion into your day to day in a different way, because quite frankly, it is different. So we need to kind of navigate that. So uh, today I wanted to run through one item, three ways. And I thought the best way to kind of kick this off with one item, three ways, is to do the item that we all love and know so dearly and have in our wardrobes. I know everybody has a great pair of leggings. And I know that the likeliness of everybody have these leggings and been wearing these leggings is very high. So before we jump into this, now that we're sort of kind of everyone's logging on here, I want to give you guys a minute to tell me where you're logging on from, where you're signing on from, say hello, tell me where you're from, tell me how you're doing, share with me maybe what's in your Netflix queue or what your quarantine snack of the day is, whatever it is, give me a little tidbit of about yourself. I'm really kind of interested in getting to know you guys as we're on this journey. We're gonna be in this for the long haul, so we might as well have some fun with it and get to know each other. Hi, hi, hi. Tennessee, Albany, Chicago. Hi, everybody, welcome. So again, if you're just hopping on and just joining, my name is Megan O'Connor. I'm a celebrity fashion stylist and a longtime friend of Lane Bryant's. I know a lot of you have seen me in the recent Create Your Lane videos, and we thought that the best way to kind of keep that going was to create these Create Your Lane at home fashion happy hours. It's a really fun way to kind of give a break of the crazy news and the life that we are all dealing with at the moment of the chaos of it all and just sort of kick back and have fun. So grab your wine, make your cup of tea, grab your water, grab your computer if you wanna shop while we're doing this live and let's get started, shall we? Hi everybody. This is so fun. I honestly, like side note before I jump into this, this is so much fun for me, and I'm just so grateful to you guys for logging on, and I'm so grateful to my Lane Bryant family, as they all know, for allowing me to log on and kind of bring a little bit of joy and fashion into your lives. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for tuning in last week. Thank you for, you know, your comments and your questions, your engagement, your hearts, your loves, your likes, your hellos. I am so grateful to each and every one of you. It brings me a lot of joy to be able to do this. It's a nice sense of normalcy in this chaos, and so I really, really appreciate it. Hi everybody. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna put my iPad down for a few minutes and we're gonna jump right into it. So like I said, today we're gonna go over one item three ways. The first item that I really wanted to cover was one that I know that you guys love. Everybody probably has a pair. If not, you have something that's adjacent to it, so something very similar in nature, something that's sort of in that comfort category and then can be reworked in multiple different ways. So I wanted to start off with a, the classic, 
the OG, everybody's favorite, ba -ba -da -da, the Livy Legging. If you don't have a Livy Legging, of course, I'm sure you have something quite similar at home, but I would suggest maybe investing in one because they are probably the most worn piece in my wardrobe. I live and die by my Livy Leggings, and I know you guys are huge fans as well. It's just something really fantastic about the material, the cotton, the breathability, the fact that they are not see-through, so they're really like a thick material. There's no show, so you can really move throughout your day. And especially if you're wearing these for your workout, there's no show through. You can really go through your workout as rigorous as it may be without ever having to worry about tugging, showing, having a little see-through moment, it rolling down. You know, there's a wide waistband on these Livy Active leggings, so there's a lot of great features in the product itself that makes it a wardrobe staple. But I thought to myself, listen, I know that we're all kind of shuffling between pajamas, athleisure, leggings. I mean, I put on jeans today. Maybe I'm a crazy person. I don't know. But I needed kind of a full look. I wanted to do something a little fashion. So I did a jean today. But I know a lot of us at home are not pulling out the denim. And I don't blame you. And I completely understand. But I really wanted to make sure that I pulled out some pieces that were relatable to your everyday life. So some of us are sitting at a computer all day teaching students. Some of us are hopping on those teleconferences. Some of us are just trying to keep a sense of normalcy. And a part of that is maybe it's your everyday workout or maybe it's, you know, cooking every day or meal prepping or whatever the case may be. For each of our individual situations, there's this kind of constant thread of having items and wardrobe pieces that are going to wear with you and kind of go with you throughout your day in the ups and downs, in the I need five minutes to myself, I'm going for a walk, I have to do this, I got to take the dog out, I got to feed the kids, all of those things. And it starts with a great base and that great base for us today that we're talking about is the Livy Active Legging. So I thought let's take three different categories of environments that we're going to be in throughout our time, right, in our home, our work from home environments and style them out. So the first thing I did was for that workout. A lot of us are trying to figure out how we're going to stay active and take care of our mental and physical health while we're in this scenario, while we're in this situation. The best thing that I've been doing personally is just been going on daily walks, trying to get out there with my family, just get the fresh air as best we can. It's a beautiful day here in New York. I don't know if it's beautiful where you are, if you're having this great weather. It's kind of a catch-22 because you want to be out and about, but we have to keep our social distance, but also get some fresh air and do the best for your health. And that means dressing for it. You know, we have to dress for the part. If you were going to put on a look for the gym or you were going to wear your favorite Livy outfit to go to whatever it is that was your fitness or your physical activity, let's keep doing that. You know, we, I don't think that we need to change the fashion portion of our lives. And I do really strongly feel that that allows us to keep a sense of normalcy. And that normalcy, that little shred of fashion normalcy is kind of what I've been holding on to. So the first look is for your activity, your physical activity. Maybe it's going for a walk. Maybe it's a hardcore HIIT workout in your backyard. I know a lot of gyms are doing kind of at-home workout routines. Whatever it is for you, here's a great look option. You start with your Livy leggings. Of course, as you guys know, there's a couple of different options for these bottoms in Livy. You can have, there's a boot cut, there's a yoga pant. There's a 7 8 legging, which is kind of a capri. There's a full-length legging. Trust me when I tell you, they all fit and function the same way, which is fantastic. They fit great. They feel great. They wear with you throughout the day. These are it. Trust me when I tell you. So start with your Livy Active Legging. Throw in a comfort tank. So this is a Livy tank. Uh, I also have one in a print to show you the difference here. I pulled this color because this is, this beautiful coral is a real great color. This is a trend for spring. So I figured why not show you a little colorful trend, give you an idea of things that you can start to invest in color wise, but also a fun way to kind of add on that active look. So you have your Livy tank, your Livy legging, and then it's still chilly here in New York. Again, I don't know where it is where you guys are, but I feel like I need um, like a light layer. I don't necessarily need to kind of really have on a heavy coat these days, but I've been wearing like a light jacket or a hoodie when I go out on my walks and when I go do my workout. So another great item is to add on this Livy zip up. Super cute, color blocking moment. Add it with your leggings and you have a really comfort, cute, active look. There's a lot of detail in this sweatshirt, which I love because that kind of allows you to incorporate it into your day to day. 
beyond your workout. So, you know, food shopping, running errands, this is a great layer that you can just throw on. Double pockets, there's a cute tie detail at the bottom here. Another trend that we've been seeing a lot of this spring is this like cinch detail. So this is another great piece to add on. Kind of check the boxes of your spring fashion trend and have a great comfort look thrown together for that morning walk, clear your head, start your day, get moving, get the blood flowing, and really kind of take care of your mental and physical health all while looking cute. So that is look number one. Um, that's the Livy Active. So that is kind of your self-isolation, workout at home, look cute, feel good, get moving, but still look put together. Of course, everything that I'm kind of using today is build in buildable pieces and mix and match. So I'm not saying you have to wear all these pieces together. You can, it makes a great look. It makes a great active wear look. But at the same time, you can take that Livy tank, throw it on with your pair of jeans, throw on, you know, a denim jacket or a Brian blazer and out the door. So a lot of the items that I've been sharing both last week and this week and in weeks to come will be all pieces that you can mix and match in your wardrobe in your everyday style. So it doesn't necessarily have to be verbatim how I'm sharing it with you, but it's just gonna give you an idea of how you can wear it as a look and then mix and match it into your everyday life. So look number one, check off. You go on your walk, you're gonna look cute, you're hitting out there. Say hi to your neighbors, keep a social distance, make sure you're saying hi six feet away. Go out with the kids, with the family, take a walk, get some fresh air. The point is you can look great and take care of yourselves during this chaotic time. And that's really kind of what we want to hone in on. Look number two, you've gone on your walk, you're coming back. It's almost time for that teleconference. Maybe you still have those leggings on and you feel like that Livy tank and that Livy sweatshirt maybe is too casual for that like Zoom conference call where you have 55 of your employees on the call with you. You still need to look put together. I have you covered. Keep on your leggings. They're comfortable, they're easy to work in, business on front, party on the bottom. These are the easy pair of pants that you throw on to sit at that desk and get on that Zoom call. But a really great add-on is to grab a beautiful blouse, lightweight, comfortable cotton blend blouse in a pop of color or a print that you can throw on with those leggings. Something like this in this beautiful print pattern. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. is a really great item to pair with kind of any bottom, any staple piece in your wardrobe. I could obviously easily wear it with my jeans. I can wear it with an alley pant. I can wear it with a ponte knit legging. I can put it with a skirt. But for the purpose of today, we're pairing this back with our leggings because the leggings are a beautiful basic bottom that can mix and match and work with everything in your wardrobe. Trust me when I tell you these are it. And so I wanted to make sure that I show you guys how you can take an ready to wear apparel blouse and pair it back with these Libby, with these Libby active leggings. And so the key here is you want to have something that's also lightweight and comfortable and easy to wear at that home office, that home computer desk setup that we're just trying to get through the day and we want to make sure that we are still focused and put together and we're in our zone and it's really easy to get distracted these days. And so I think if you're comfortable and you're like kind of in your setup, then that adds to it and that really helps. So pairing a really lightweight, comfortable blouse, not too restrictive. This is super, as you guys can see, really, really lightweight. Uh, there's an elasticized band here in the center. So it makes this like really beautiful sort of like fit and flare peplum fit when you have it on has a good sleeve, has an open neckline, but it's all buttoned through here. It has a backing. This is a great piece that you can kind of throw on when you're hopping on that Zoom call and you want to look put together as if you were in the office, but you want to stay comfortable. This is it. So that's look number two. Teleconference time. You're still in those Livy Active leggings, but we want to make sure that you have something appropriate and a little bit more polished for that afternoon conference call. Here you go. You throw in your blouse. And of course you have a pop of color, a beautiful spring print, something that's gonna bring some liveliness and some life into your call. This brings people joy. 
fashion brings people joy. So let's have some fun with it, especially in this chaotic time. This is kind of when we need to lean on it the most and why where we can have the most fun getting creative with fashion and color and prints and mixing and matching all those things in our wardrobe because now's the time. If it brings you joy, put it on. I promise you it is worth it. So our next look, we're going throughout our day. We already did our active look. We're headed in, we have our conference call, we have our teleconference look. We have it, we're good to go, we're off the teleconference. And tonight, you're gonna have a little date night with your significant other in your living room. That's right, you're going across the hall, you're making a left past the bathroom, you're going down the stairs, and you're gonna have yourself a special date night with your significant other. You need something to wear, right? Quite frankly, you could wear your pajamas, you can wear your raggedy t-shirt and those shorts that you had in the back of the drawer. No problem, you could throw on your robe, sure, go for it, no judgment. But maybe you wanna have a little fun. Maybe you wanna put on a look that makes you feel like you're headed to your favorite local restaurant, even though you're only doing takeout. Maybe you wanna put on something that makes you feel a little bit fancier, a little bit more put together. I have you covered because you don't need to take off those leggings to do it. You're welcome. You can still wear your Livy Active leggings and all you have to do is pair it with a couple of great top options and accessories and I have you in a look head to toe. So here's your leggings. We're gonna grab a beautiful faux wrap blouse in this scarlet flame red color, which is so magnificent. Also a really big color trend for spring. So another great piece that you can kind of add into your wardrobe. You know it's gonna be a spring trend. You're gonna take it into summer. This is also one of those pieces that are just kind of evergreen. They go year round, you can wear this all year round. So you're gonna take this faux wrap blouse. You have your tie detail here. You can tie this in the front or the back. There's a lot of versatility here. You have your short sleeve, a little bit of a sexy v-neck here. Show a little skin. Have a little fun with it, you guys. Pair it back with your leggings, of course. And then, you know what? This is fine on its own. Throw on earrings, throw on a necklace, you're good to go. I mean, I'm sure anybody at this point would think that this is feeling a little bit more dressed up than the usual t-shirt, jeans, whatever the case may be, or t-shirt leggings. But you can go as far as to even add on a layer onto this one. So another great thing we can do is take, I'm a huge fan of these kimono over pieces. You saw me in one similar last week, I have one on this week, and the reason I'm rocking these is because they're a great add-on addition to anyone's wardrobe, and they can be paired back with tons of your wardrobe staples. And that's why I wanted to show you another one that you can wear with this faux wrap blouse. You just take this beautiful kimono piece, you throw it on right over that red shirt, and now you have more dynamic look that can be paired up against your black leggings. Lace trim, floral print, chiffon. There's a little bit of a sexy sassy detail to it. You have really beautiful crochet detail on the back. And then this is more of a dynamic look. So now you have a full out styled look as if you were headed to the restaurant with your significant other, with your friends, with whomever, and you wanted to have a put together look, here you go. Of course, the benefit to this is all these pieces can be pulled apart separately and worn post COVID land. So we can take this kimono and throw it over a bathing suit this summer when you're running down the beach, or you can throw it over your maxi dress. You can take this faux wrap top and pair it back with a pair of jeans and a cute heel and a blazer and head out the door. All these pieces can be mixed and matched in many different ways so that you have some versatility in your wardrobe with newness, with old pieces, with wardrobe staples, with classic items. It's just kind of to give you guys an idea of how to shake things up. So that was your third look. We took you from your active lifestyle, you're going for your walk, you're doing your workout and your Livy look. Then we went into our teleconference with a little bit of a pop of color and print with an easy top, two items, one and done, at the computer, doing your work, but you're put together. And then of course we did our last look, which is taking a beautiful, gorgeous color, throwing on that sheer floral kimono and pairing this back against those comfort Livy Active leggings for a third date night look with your significant other. Maybe you just wanna get dressed up for dinner with your family. Maybe you're sitting on your porch talking to your friends and you wanna put on your best. Whatever the case is, 
as long as you guys are looking good and feeling good, then my job is done. I wanted to just share with you a couple of ideas on how to wear those one leggings three ways. Now, let's get to some questions, right? I feel like, let's see how you guys are doing in here. Thank you all for joining and saying hi. A couple of new people were just popping on. So I just want to remind you guys, my name is Megan O'Connor. I'm a fashion stylist and friend of Liam Bryant's. I'm here every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, coming to you live from New York, from the comfort of my home, giving you a Create Your Lane fashion happy hour, just to give you a little something other than the news to watch. So I'm so grateful for you guys to joining me. I'm so grateful for all of your highs and your hellos. Yes, swimsuits, Ugh, 90 degrees in Florida. Hi, hi, hi. You guys have been so active and I was like, not focused on this because I was focused on the clothes. But let's go through some questions, shall we? Of course, as you know, we were um, asking you guys to share some questions um, on Lane Bryant's Instagram and Facebook. There was a post, if you shared those, if I read your question, Lane Bryant team will reach out to you. You will be receiving a $50 gift card. So shop away, my friends. Maybe one of these looks will inspire you and maybe you'll get one of these items. Let's see. Uh, what's the blouse's name? Okay, so great question. I'm so sorry I meant to include this information before. Every single item that I talk about today will be included in the description of this post on Instagram. So we saved this video, we posted it up onto IGTV, and in the description we include every single item that I talk about with the item number, so you can very easily go copy and paste that, throw that into the website, boom, check out, all done. So... Okay, question number one. I just had my second baby five weeks ago. What are some stylish and easy outfit ideas? This mama needs help. Well, first of all, congratulations. Um, I hope you're well, I hope your baby is well, I hope your family is well, and I hope that you're trying to stay stress-free during this chaotic time. Um, a couple of stylish and easy outfit ideas. Well, we just covered three of them. Um, my number one advice would be to make sure you're filling your closet with um, wardrobe staples that are both comfortable and uh, practical. So especially for like a new mom to be, you have a lot on your plate and you have a lot of things that you need to worry about. Your clothes should be the last thing on that list, but you also wanna feel good and look good. So having a Livy Active legging, grabbing a jumpsuit, maybe it's a comfy maxi dress or a cotton throw on, even your Cacique sleepwear, like, Investing in those pieces that are great, so those loungewear dresses or mix and match joggers and shirts, all of those kind of comfort items that also have a fashion element that could be mixed and matched and sort of dressed up to be a little bit more, less lounge, more every day. Those are definitely the pieces that you want to start to look at and throw into your wardrobe because those are the items that are going to work overtime for you as a new mom. And I mean, isn't that what we want? I mean... I would assume you want to be comfortable, but you also want to be put together and you don't want to have to think about it. So that's the best way to do it. Um, next question, sneakers with dresses, yes or no, and how to? Well, um, if you saw last week, I talked about a gray short sleeve Heather Maxi dress. I also um, wore it in a post on my personal Insta, which you guys can go check out for some style inspiration. But the answer, is yes, 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 yes. Of course you can wear sneakers with dresses. And I think a lot of people get thrown with the length of the dress and like the type of the sneaker, but quite frankly, it's very personal to your style preferences. You can wear a maxi dress and like a low top sneaker. You can wear a short like fit and flare, a cute spring summer dress, and you can wear it with a more athletic type sneaker. For me, it's more about the balance of like the style. So if you're wearing a low top ked you can wear it you know it's a little bit more of a basic piece as opposed to like mixed print air maxes you know or whatever the case may be i think it's more about making sure that you're balancing out your prints and your solids and sort of the style and the aesthetic of your sneakers so if you're a sneaker person and you have a lot of prints and fashion colors then those pieces are really great to be paired back with those basic dress items that you have so that you can mix and match and let the sneaker do the talking. Maybe you have a beautiful printed dress and a pop of color and you don't want to throw on like that sandal or that heel. Throw on those white heads. Throw on a simple slide sneaker. I mean, Lane Bryant has a lot of great slide sneakers too that are awesome options instead of a sandal or a heel. So that's another way. Um, next question. 
What spring summer trends do you recommend that could be mixed with classic staples already in your closet? Well, this could literally be its own episode, which maybe it will be. Maybe we can push this into next week. But um, spring summer trends that you can be mixed with closet staples. We talked about two today. So or we talked about one trend, which of course is color. So there's always these like spring color trends that you want. The first one I mentioned was this beautiful coral, which I showed you in this Livy Active legging, uh, Livy Active legging, this Livy Active tank. So this coral color is really hot for spring. Another one I showed you was this like scarlet flame red, which is so stunning and like beautiful on absolutely everybody. This is a big color trend as well. Um, other color trends, actually here's another one. This sort of faded blue denim is another color trend for spring. So there's a lot that actually we covered today, which wasn't planned, but hey. Um, so color is a great way to incorporate a trend into your wardrobe and then pair it back with your basics, like your jeans, like your leggings, like your alley pant, with whatever suiting you have at home. Um, another great thing would be to invest in a new denim. So it could either be a trend denim, like how I have on this sort of distressed girlfriend jean, or it could be just a fresh new pair, a trouser, a skinny leg. So a new piece of denim that is fresh for your wardrobe that can be paired back with other blouses, other jackets, other layer pieces. Speaking of jackets, another great thing you can incorporate would be a great spring jacket. So there's a lot of um, colorful leather items happening right now. Pop of color and a blazer. Of course, you guys know I always talk about Brian blazers are great pieces to have in your wardrobe. You can invest in a new Brian blazer and a pop of color or a print that can be paired back with other pieces in your wardrobe. It's another great idea. Um, and then what else? I would say this is probably another really great um, suggestion for your wardrobe. If you want to have a spring trend that will pair back with basics that you currently own, adding these sort of kimono, easy light layer pieces like this one or this one here is another really great item. The one that we talked about for our date night in the living room, this beautiful floral with the crochet trim is a great option as well. All of these pieces, not only are they like my favorite go-to for travel, if and when we ever get to do that again, because they pack so easily, but they're a great piece for your wardrobe because you can literally mix and match with everything and anything. So these items are a great add-in for that current, like if you want to shop for something, but you're not sure what to really get, but you want to be able to wear it throughout the seasons, these kind of items, these like kimono light layer pieces, great items to have into your wardrobe. Um, next question. If I wanted to pair your top with something for the office, what would you suggest? Oh, so this was somebody was asking this in reference to the tie dye um, outfit I had on in the post that Lane Bryant shared. So I was in the tie dye shirt with the matching joggers and the question was about the top. So if they wanted to wear that to the office, I guess when we're out of COVID land or maybe to your work from home office, if you're headed to that desk and you're sitting down for those Zoom conference calls and those video teleconferencing, what could you wear that would make it a little bit more polished? So my suggestion would be to pair it back with some grounded items. So you can throw on a denim jacket, you can throw on a white denim jacket, uh, you can 100% throw it on with a blazer. Another great way would be um, just kind of putting it with a simple bottom. So obviously I wore it as a set, but you can wear it with a pair of jeans. You can even go as far as to wear it with a skirt. You can kind of bring up, say you have like a black pleated midi skirt. You can bring it up, tuck it in, and then you sort of have that fun tie dye, but you're polished on the bottom with that, you know, kind of whatever skirt you want would be it a pleated midi skirt, or you have like a black ponty knit skirt, even a pencil skirt. If you didn't want to tuck it, you can tie it up. You can do a little like knot in the front or do a French tuck. All those different variations are great ways to kind of make a casual lounge item a little bit more polished. So I hope that helps. Um, ooh, one more question. Let's see. The second I saw this picture, oh, this one is so good. And I think this will help everybody too. It's like kind of a fun, it's like a group question answer situation. This person wrote, the second I saw this picture, I wanted to go buy this little outfit. They're referencing the tie dye. It just made me so happy in this time of being quarantined. So I have a question. What two things make you happiest in your job? So I love this question. I thought it was so creative. It was so nice to kind of 
I love answering style questions and I love the Q&A and I love going through these tips and tricks with you guys. This is what I do. But I thought this was a really nice question to sort of end on a good note. We can chat with each other for a minute. I thought it was really nice to just sort of ask outside of the fashion box for a second. So what two things make you happiest in your job? I would love to ask you guys if you're still on and you're here and you want to chat and share. I would love to know what two things make you happiest in your job or even what two things are making you happiest right now. So it doesn't have to be work related. Just share with me kind of what's making you happy in the moment right now. It could be anything from, you know, Tiger King on Netflix to just made dinner to, you know, having a great cocktail hour, loving this fashion chat, whatever it is, I would kind of love to know what's making you happy right this moment or what is the what are the two things that make you happiest in your job to answer this question uh for my job personally i would say what makes me happiest is first of all the fact that i get to be creative every single day um i quite literally get to play dress up uh it's a, my job is a dream come true and i am so grateful and so fortunate and i could not be more grateful Trust me when I tell you I don't take a second of this for granted. So I would say uh, the luxury of being able to be incredibly creative on a daily basis is one of my favorite things. Um, the other thing is connecting, right? So connecting with other individuals and helping them in whatever way that I can and, and ultimately making people feel the most confident and beautiful versions of themselves is probably the most favorite part of my job. Um, I get to work with wonderful people every day. I get to engage and interact with wonderful people like you guys every day. And I think that a huge takeaway for me is being able to connect with you all and being able to share my love for fashion and my knowledge and my understanding of trend and all of those things, but kind of bring it down to that like homegrown level where we just chat and talk and, and kind of see it eye to eye and talk about fun things and ultimately if at the end of the day I help somebody put together an outfit that made them feel and look confident and feel great and love the way they felt in that outfit that maybe I helped them with then that is the cherry on top I mean that is the holy grail of my job and so thank you so much for asking that question I thought it was really really nice and so I did want to open it up to you guys if you had anything to say that it was making you grateful today or making you excited about anything oh my gosh these are so nice um nice weather yes of course i'm definitely grateful for nice weather today as well um gosh these are so wonderful thank you guys for engaging in this way i really really appreciate it spending more time with my family ability ability to organize my closet love that uh, i myself have been in crazy organization mode um Somebody wrote bras without wires, <laughs> hands down. Best comment ever, <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. Um, I also agree with you, bralette land over here. Um, also, uh, <laughs> there's just so many great bra options on Lane Bryant that have no wire. Of course, there are also comfortable ones that have wire, but <laughs> there's a mix of both, and that's definitely um, a go-to for me these days is kind of it's like bra roulette, but I love all of my bras are super comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely going to try the new cooling bra at Liam Bryant. So I'm excited about that one. So we'll see. Uh, somebody wrote today's warm sunshine made me happy. I'm with you. Anytime we have a good weather day, I'm always feeling a little bit less stressed and anxiety ridden and more joy filled and optimistic. And of course, that's just like the nature of it. But for me, um, having these sunny days are making it way easier. Um, you guys should do these more often. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that you're enjoying it. Um, most awesome commute home. What a, what a great comment. Uh, normally an hour and 45 minutes down to 30. Well, that indicates to me that you are out working, which tells me that you are likely an essential personnel, which leads me to a great segue because I don't want to end this live without forgetting to thank our essential personnel, our men and women, our medical professionals, um, our nurses, our doctors, our pharmacists, 
are the individuals who are working in trucks and doing deliveries and stocking those shelves at the supermarkets. Thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you a million times over on behalf of Lane Bryant and myself. Thank you for waking up every single day and facing this crisis with grace and dignity and professionalism. And it is because of all of you who are out there still working, who are on the front lines, who are battling this crisis, that we can just sit back and kind of do a fashion chat. So um, I'm eternally grateful for every single first responder, medical professional, essential personnel, anybody who's out there. Thank you 100,000 times over to infinity and beyond we are so incredibly, incredibly grateful and indebted to each and every one of you. Um, let's see what else. Healthcare worker, so you're not off, but thankful for the ability to help others. Well, we are very thankful for your ability to help others, and we're very thankful for you joining us. I hope that after a long day of work, you got to at least kick back and just relax a little bit and take your mind off of the stress of the outside world. It's a lot, you guys. I understand that. And so I don't mean to... Um, minimize anything that's going on in the outside world but my intention um, is to just be able to do this every week and provide you with a little bit of sense of normalcy some fashion chat a distraction um, a little shred of happiness uh, if if that is what I did then I did my job today I thank you all so much for allowing me to do this um, as much as maybe it makes you guys feel good to be on um, it makes me feel even better to do this for you. Uh, this is my act of service and this is my language and I'm so glad that I'm able to share it with you all. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Thank you for logging on. Um, this one's a little bit a shorter episode than last week. I felt like last week was too long. Um, so we wanted to keep it short and happy um, and concise. I hope this didn't go too long. And thank you guys again so much for your questions, for your Q&A. Um, there's a ton of questions that I didn't get to, but there's more episodes to come. So hopefully we will cover them. And a lot of you gave some great suggestions for future episodes as well. So thank you so much for joining. As a reminder, all of the items that we talked about tonight will be shared in the description of this post when we post it up on IGTV. So don't worry. If there's an item that you're interested in, of course, you can comment We'll try to get it to you. We'll try to let you know what it is, but we have it covered because it will be in the IGTV description. Every single item number, all you have to do is when you're shopping on liambryan.com, put in that item number, boom, it pops up, add it to your cart, check out, and enjoy. That's how it works. Um, again, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for joining. Don't forget to shop Liam Bryant for all these items, tons of new arrivals, lots of great, amazing sales happening right now. Um, and free shipping on all orders, $49 or more. So shop away, treat yourself, do a little something, buy something, gift something, wear it, whatever you do, wherever you wear it, wear it in good health. I hope you all are staying at home. You're happy at home. You're staying healthy and you're staying safe. Until next week, bye-bye. Here's the part where I get really close so that I can log off. Bye guys.